So this is week one. First clip. First scene, whatever. This is what we gotta do this week. Today is actually Christmas. Merry Christmas. December 25th, Monday. And what I'm doing today is working on that crane over there. Trying to get that boat launched this week. in the water make sure she's got no holes in her yeah we built her without checking to see if the pontoons has holes in her but yeah first thoughts when i told you i wanted to be an oyster farmer many thoughts one first is i don't like oysters i don't think he likes oysters i don't think you like oysters either uh, the second is it's got to be better than moving fridges for a living because i was afraid one of them was going to crush you um, I would love to have you around me. You have to live by the sea. What did you think when I told you I wanted to be an oyster farmer? You're not actually going to put me on the air, right? No, I won't. Oh, well, great. It didn't surprise me a bit. <laughs> what are your thoughts on oyster farming? What were your first thoughts on oyster farming? That was stupid. That was actually genius. <laughs> Nana, what did you think when I first said I wanted to be an oyster farmer? I just thought you were crazy. I thought it was just a time of life. You were looking for something exciting. That's all. What do you think about oysters? Gave you no encouragement. No, oh, you did. What do you think about oysters? Well, I've never put one in my mouth yet. <laughs> so we got ourselves a rainy day here and Phil's just working on nine mil bags. These are ultimately gonna go on to floating bags. Right here, turn this bad boy on. I don't know how that does with the audio, but this is some of the stuff that we work on in the rain. We've got our four millimeter bags that we put six millimeter seed into. Then we put these bags directly in the cages. These are what Phil's working on. Nine millimeter floating bags. This is typically how we shape the oyster. We'll put them in at about half an inch to an inch, and we'll let them grow inside of here with these floats on the side. So they will sit and float on top of the water. Like such. We'll attach these two clips to a line, and they'll sit on the water column and shake around. Then they'll kind of polish and they'll shake the oyster. But, This right here is our floating farm at uh, 8816. Right back here we've got some oysters that are about medium sized. Uh, I'll show you a clip of them real quick. Hello. Got ourselves a floating bag right here. I typically grow uh, our medium sized stuff and we are just out here on this nice, I guess, December. I can't believe it's December. It's like 60 degrees out here right now, which is nuts. And the water is warmer than the air. So what we're doing is we're checking to see if there's any growth on any of these oysters. And believe it or not, there actually is a tiny amount of growth. And I did see them filtering when we walked in, when we showed up to them. But, so these are typically, we'll grow these out just, you know, maybe to two and a half inches and then drop them into our bottom cages again to finish off. But, you can see, they just get really clean. And, you know, with more time, they'll shape, they'll all become more uniform, but it keeps them nice and clean and very dense. 
lot of wave action. Bags, um, we put them on top of the water because when it's wavy out, it'll shape them. Anything you want to add about floating bags? Do you like floating bags or bottom cages better? I like the floating bags. Just it, it's easier for me because I'm a one-man crew um, and I don't have a crane. So, but the way that uh, the mother nature naturally tumbles the oyster, it's pretty cool. I like a bottom cage. <laughs> oh, hello, Scuttler Phil. So, what were your first thoughts about oyster farming when you first heard the words come out of my mouth, oyster farming? What did you think about it? Sounds cool. Different. That's when you immediately came to mind, the odd season. Uncle Jody and his all his uh, seafood restaurants in Houston. Yeah. What did they think about oyster farming? Not, not super high on it. No? Yeah. Crazy about it. But they came around. They didn't, I mean, sometimes it just takes some understanding. Just takes time to learn. Not oyster farming itself. Just curious. They didn't know. And about like the long term prospects it might have for my life. <laughs> Understandable. Anyway, I've been out there. I've walked around and seen what you've done. I'm quite impressed. Believable. I watched you build that front post boat in the yard. Do you think we can? Do you think I can grow and sell five million oysters in 2024? I think it'll do anything you put your brain at. Oh, I really think that. And come up with a new idea that doesn't work. Really smart. Take after the grandmother. Aha. Perfect. This is the oyster processing plex or the oyster shed. Or the oyster barn, whatever you want to call it. It is a not a first of its kind, but I think the size might be. That's 20 by 20 foot. It's floating, has an engine attached to it. Fully mobile. This is our oyster processing tumbler. This thing is a must for any oyster farmer in their tool belt. This allows you to clean and sort the oysters. We've got small oysters come out here. This episode was brought to you today by We Sell the Fat Belly Oyster. Three quick reasons on why you should buy product. Our product will be the freshest. We can, if you buy it from any of, from me or from any of my sales team, it'll be fresh out of the water, overnighted directly to you. We do wholesale, we do retail. You can pretty much get it anywhere in the 48 United States for rice. Our price is competitive in this business. We understand you gotta make money and we are very flexible on price based on scale. Three people working with us is super easy. My name is Kyle, there's Phil, there's Creighton, maybe a few more people. Call up any of them and any one of them can solve your problem. That's it. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. We'll be tuned in next week. Tune in next Tuesday to see what shenanigans we get up to in the new year. River's gonna open. We're gonna try and start pushing out oysters again. That's it. I gotta go farm some oysters. No, oh, wait. Phil, honest answer. Do you think we'll be able to sell 5 million oysters in 2024? Yes. Not today. Not today. Not today. Yeah, look at the camera and tell me. Yes. Not today, not today. That's what it's all about, not baby. Not today, not tomorrow. Get out my way, please. I'm trying to get paid. I've been broke for 27 years. Yeah. I ain't gone for 28. Nope. Be seeing you niggas flexing and finessing the shit. You know I ain't never ate. Wow. Be seeing you shining, all that designer. You ain't get your little bro plate. Wow. That's how I know you fake. Bitch, that's how I know you fake. Get it straight.